Hi and welcome to Driving Field Sales Productivity with Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. My name is Ross, I'm a CRM consultant with Professional Advantage and over the next few minutes I'm just going to show you how you can make use of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 using Microsoft Outlook, Internet Explorer and your mobile device to make your field sales team more productive. Today we're going to be taking a look at Julie, who's a sales rep working for our organisation, who's using CRM to help manage her sales pipeline. So the first thing that we're going to do is take a look inside the activity list for Julie inside CRM 2011 on her sales dashboard. When Julie logs into CRM in her web browser, she sees the dynamic CRM dashboard. It shows the overall sales pipeline, it shows some outstanding case and lead information, but most importantly for Julie right now, it shows her outstanding activities at the bottom of the screen here. So we can see today she has two things outstanding. Firstly, a meeting with a customer at one o'clock to discuss an opportunity, and then a phone call that she's scheduled to make at three o'clock this afternoon about another opportunity. So Julie takes a look at the first opportunity that she needs to action. And she can see that it's for a customer called A Store. So all she needs to know about A Store is whereabouts they're located. So they're in the middle of the Melbourne CBD. So Julie jumps in the car and drives into the city. So while Julie's on the road, she's always carrying her BlackBerry phone with her. When she arrives in the middle of the city, she finds that it's quicker to get a car park than she expected, so she's running about half an hour early for her one o'clock appointment. So Julie wants to know what else she can do to make use of her time. She loads up the mobile CRM client, takes a look at activities, and she can see a list of everything that's outstanding for her that needs actioning today. So at three o'clock this afternoon, there was a phone call that needed to be made. So she opens up the phone call to take a look at some of the details. She scans through and can see that it's regarding an outstanding opportunity. She can also see that the phone call is going to Yvonne. She takes a look at Yvonne's record to get the phone number and just clicks on the phone number to make the phone call. The phone makes the, the call. Yvonne has a chat to Julie, our sales rep, and determines that they just need to catch up again next week because Yvonne's not in a position to make a decision at the moment. So she hangs up the phone and straight away she's asked by the mobile CRM client if she wants to track that as another phone call activity. She says yes I do, opens up the keyboard and says this subject is about our outstanding opportunity. Set the regarding to an outstanding opportunity that needs following up and Julie saves the record. So that phone call is now tracked inside the CRM system so that other staff can also see that the phone call has been made. Julie returns to the original phone call and just edits that record so she can change the due date to next week so that she can follow it up with a nice little reminder when she's ready. Now all of these changes that have been made are happening on Julie's BlackBerry device um, and this would work okay regardless of whether she has network coverage or not. At the end of the day or when she has a little bit of downtime, Julie can synchronize back to the office server and all of her changes in the CRM system will be synchronized. Now that can happen automatically as well. So now that Julie's made her phone call and filled in a little bit of time, she preps herself for the meeting with a customer to try and close the sales opportunity. She opens up the meeting appointment, takes a look at some of the details about the appointment, noting that it is only for a half hour time period, and wants to see some other details about the customer that she'll be talking to. She can see the primary contact she'll be meeting with is Adrian, but she wants to see what their current relationship with us is like. So Julie opens up outstanding cases for A Store, and she can see and is quite concerned by the fact that there's two outstanding cases. One of those is to do with damaged goods. She takes a brief look at the case to see when it was opened and who's looking at it. She can also see a follow-up date and any other details about this particular case. Just by being aware of these cases, Julie's able to better place herself when she's asked about those by the customer. 
So Julie goes in to visit Adrian at A-Store, and lo and behold, she's won the opportunity. Um, Adrian wishes to purchase our goods. So Julie opens up the related opportunity. She can see the estimated revenue is about $1,800, and that is the correct amount, and that is what Adrian is going to purchase. So Julie chooses to close this opportunity, say that it has been won, and the actual revenue is correct. There's no competitors that Julie wishes to track this against, but she can enter a brief description of what has actually happened. And there we go. Julie's finished the opportunity and as soon as this synchronizes back to the server using the, the workflows inside CRM the account management team will be alerted to the new order so that they can fulfill it and create an invoice. The last thing Julie has to do is mark the appointment as complete. Just using a Blackberry menu she goes to the close appointment activity. and the appointment has been saved and taken out of her activity list. So now Julie returns to the office. On the way she tells her phone to synchronize and all of the changes that she's entered into her BlackBerry device get copied onto the CRM server. Next time Julie opens her web browser and she views her CRM dashboard she can see that the sales pipeline has automatically updated to take out the opportunity that she just won. She can also see that the outstanding activities has been updated and the appointment is no longer listed because it's been completed. Lastly, she can see that the due date on the outstanding phone call is set to next week. So she will be able to see that and, uh, and make the phone call at an appropriate time next week. So to quickly recap what we've looked at today, Julie, Julie has logged into CRM reviewed her outstanding activities and viewed some contact details for her customers. She's then made the visit and using her handheld mobile device has made another phone call to a customer during some downtime, met another customer about an opportunity and then closed the opportunity and said that it was won. She's then returned to CRM to review outstanding activities for next week and make sure that the sales pipeline has taken her opportunity into account. For more information about Microsoft Dynamics CRM, contact Professional Advantage on 1800 126 499. Alternatively, you can view some case studies and more information about the product on our website at www.pa.com.au crm or by emailing microsoftinfo at pa.com.au.